Firstly, I'll start with a brief introduction on rent review. A landlord cannot just increase the annual rent payable at any time that it sees fit. The time and basis of any rent review will be set out in the lease itself. As the amount of rent that is paid by a tenant will directly impact daily on its bottom line and may also affect the ability of the tenant to be able to dispose of its lease at some point in the future, it's a very important matter to consider when negotiating terms for the grant of a lease, taking an assignment of a lease and in due course when the rent review process itself is underway. I'll summarise some of the main types of rent review, starting with the basic ones. A fixed increase um, might be suited to a short-term lease, say a lease of no longer than five years. And very simple, the rent might be fixed at, say, £1,000 for the first year, increasing automatically to £2,000 in the second year, and increasing again to, say, £3,000 in the third year, and then remaining at that level for the rest of the term of the lease. Another relatively simple um, review provision would be one that is linked to either the retail prices index or the consumer prices index with the intention that the increase in rent will reflect the underlying level of um, inflation. Again, it's more suited to shorter term leases of quite modest properties. It's usually carried out on an annual basis and is cheap to administer. Looking at more complicated forms of review, um, you might come across a turnover rent review. This is where the whole or, or a proportion of rent that a tenant pays is directly linked to the turnover that the premises generate. Um, they, there are various methods of calculation and they can be complex to administer because the tenant needs to make sure that it keeps accurate accounting records. Usually, because it's linked to the turnover a premises generate, it generates, it's usually only seen in uh, retail leases. Um, the typical rent review clause will be what is called an open market rent review. This is where the rent is reviewed in line with changes in the property market. So what annual rent would a tenant in the open market be prepared to pay for the premises on the date that the rent is being reviewed? Usually there is scope for some informal negotiation between the parties in advance of the review date, but then in the event of the dispute, the matter is referred to an independent valuer to determine the level of rent. Most reviews of this type are upwards only, with the intention that the rent will only ever increase and will never go down. They can be complex, and if referred to determination, the valuer's costs will need to be paid. They are typical in long, more longer term leases, so leases of over five years, and they're usually carried out on a five yearly cycle.